my beautiful people, my beautiful people, my beautiful people, welcome back to another lovely episode of the Logic of Emotions podcast slash reactions. It's your dog, your brother, man, your favorite African-American, Melly, baby. Now, in this episode, man, we're going to go from Goldberg's video from uh, a request from one of our subs, man, Taco Falls son, baby. He followed me on Instagram. He DM me and said, hey, bro, I want you to react to this. So why ain't y'all doing that? Why ain't y'all follow me on the gram, baby? Follow me on the gram so you can give me suggestions at all times, baby. Or conversations. You know, I don't care. I love talking to y'all, man. Y'all family, baby. Now, but he requested that we react to Michael Jordan's uh, best game ever when he had 69 points. Now, MJ's my GOAT. I don't know who your GOAT is. People will say MJ. They'll say Bill Russell. They'll, they, they could also say, um, what you call it? People also will put... Uh, LeBron, whoa, as their goat. <laughs> that was crazy. But let's, let's get into it, man. Thank you all for getting over 600 subs in a month and a half, bro, on the road to 1,000. Let's get to the intro, and let's get to the fun. Now, Michael Jordan was very meticulous in his, shoot, his shooting. He gets to his spots very easily, so let's critique it and let's talk about it. Full house here at Richfield. Oh my of course, god. They're in town to see their Cavaliers battling for the playoff spot. But this of course, gross. they're here to see the guy in the middle of your screen. And with the ball, number 23, Michael Jordan. And Those bull shorts Kilo are my right favorite away. shorts, though. Down in a hole against Jordan, who's posted. Damn. Look how quick he'd, he'd spin, though. Oh my bad. Whoa. Sorry, y'all. I, I don't know why I did that. That was weird. Number 23, Michael Jordan. Starting to go back how quickly he right spent on that. Takes it down in a hole against Jordan, who's posted Bennett with the turnaround. And Michael Jordan says so much for that that's, that's, defense. Uh, that's, that's immaculate core. Cutting into the paint. Jordan trying to muscle again against Cartwright. No good double. There. Good double. Too long good double. Take away his dunks and his layups. Here's a great steal by Michael. Look at the great hands. He goes and he just tears it away. And MJ has some big ass hands, hands too. Reversing to Scotty. Missing from long range. Jordan with a rebound. The basket and Let's pay attention to the defense as well, too, as the rebounding and everything. Kicked it out to Doherty, who will usually hit that 15-footer. Just the quickness and the acceleration of Mark Price to get inside. Good pass. Open. 12 off the glass from Michael Jordan. Who would you guys say was Michael Jordan's kryptonite? Who would y'all say that? No. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm always, always wanting to learn more, especially from the old school. Always want to learn more, bro. Jordan wanted the three. Bennett backs off another step. He'll take it. He backed off another step, and Michael took him to the... Look how fucking high he jumps! Bennett backs off another step. He'll take it. He back Look how high he is, bro. Oh, my God. Backed off another step, and Michael took him to the clears mm. on the baseline. 31 mm. points. The Bulls shot 44% from the floor. Michael shooting. He's one of the people that he's one of the so main or I always say if he played in today's Michael age. You lose both ways. I saw some idiot one time say if Michael Jordan played in today's age, it was a hot take. That he'd be DeMar DeRozan. Man, they flamed that nigga for about a week. It was crazy. <laughs> Can you imagine Michael Jordan having all of the facilities, all of the learning, all of the, the things we have nowadays to become way better? Could you imagine, bro? Oh my Oh, and then his three-point percentage would be way higher. Um, he'd be way faster. He'd be oh my god, it'd be it'd be it'd be it'd be, it'd be ridiculous, bro. There's another. There's a steal by Michael. Great defense. Off Elo's leg, so four Cleveland turnovers. In question, y'all, was was this when the Cavs were like actually good back in the day? Goes and gets three. Now eight on the shot clock. Elo and Lex to take it into the paint instead. Oh, that's a good spin, though. Early in this ball game. Michael Jordan has a way of making you do that. <laughs> Jordan sees a slight crack in the Cleveland defense and makes some pay. Mark Price says, I like to just watch Anderson dribble the ball. He's so good. Mm. High praise. Move it out the ball very well, too. Because that's one thing I have to say too that too. people don't talk about a lot as well too. He he moves well the ball pretty well. He he does. Did sorry. Don't care about no weed right now though. Five on the shot clock. Jordan gets Elo airborne, and one. Easy. hits the basket, draws the foul, 
That's slightly reminiscent of the shot in the play. A little bit. A little bit today about Elo being an outstanding Get into the body. Pump fake. Come in. He coming down. Beautiful. There he is hanging Beautiful. In the air, price That's easily a foul. Easily. Three-point opportunity. And starting to get more confidence as the season winds down. Chucky, the rookie out of North Carolina State. I remember people used to say, too, MJ couldn't shoot threes. Why well, shoot the... He hits it from the base. I forgot how disgusting Cartwright's jump shot was. <laughs> I forgot how disgusting that shit was. <laughs> yeah, yo, can you stop? Can you stop? Can you can you relax? Can you? Why are you doing this to me? The family are watching, baby. What, 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 what are we doing here? Play it back. The double team, Jordan, that leaves Cartwright. Oh my God, bro! He took the ball like this, and then went like this, <laughs> yo. But it went in. Wide open. That's all that matters. He hits it from the baseline. Jordan saw the opening, kicks it out to BJ Armstrong. BJ Armstrong was my is my what, he was, was one of my favorite uh, point guards to use on 2K. Morton is on. Always was. Michael Jordan, he was on him for a moment. Him, agent zero. <laughs> and then he slipped off of him. Well, I mean, he's driving to the basket. They go up and they wrap their arms around his Bro, waist. Got, that's three niggas. <laughs> Beautiful arc. He's 19 points right now. Clears Purdue out of the way, takes it past Nance, draws the foul, will go to the line. And think a lot of y'all, oh, that's right, that's right, Larry Nance's dad was on his team, right, right, right. Um, People don't understand, too, when they watch I know people are going to ask, why are they not, you know, stopping him before he gets there? I don't think y'all really understand the fact that MJ... Clears Purdue out of the way. Once he got one, two, right there, if he wanted to, he could have dunked on him. So it's very hard to guard MJ like that. MJ could have dunked on both of them niggas right then and there. He could have. If he really wanted to, but I believe he understood that number three wasn't going to jump with him. And he knew the only person that was going to actually jump with him was obviously the center. Because I don't think number three was really that much of a defender from what I'm looking at. I don't think so. If I'm wrong, let me know. Correct me. I have no problem admitting that I'm wrong. But great play. Draws the foul. We'll go to the line again. Great play. Cartwright five, Grant four, Pippen four, Davis. He obviously understands who the, who was going to jump with him. Who the defenders are, who are the ones that are going to be lacking. He, he understands. Jordan goes up for the jump shot points already. 553 to go in the first. I remember people that don't like MJ said he got a lot of free throws. I do remember hearing that too. But he is getting hit. Pass it back. There you go. To King, back to Michael. What a beautiful play by Stacey King and Michael Jordan. We got the ball very well. And an opportunity to get. Is that a foul? Michael Jordan. That's another careless Arm. Yeah, I see it. Like right here. I see it. Yeah. And an opportunity to get 27. Jordan. Michael Jordan popping off. And he's going to get up to Stacey Cannon. Pass there. Right out of the and then go right team. there. This is when he's so effective. When you double him, he gives it up and then cuts right out of the double team. Beautiful give and go. And, then a and I guess number 43, I think, didn't foul him because he's already been to the line a couple times. That's understanding. That's, that's understanding. Michael's going into the post now. Realizing we should have the score up, though. In the penalty, he's going to try to drive it, get to the foul line. That's the pick from Purdue from long range. Jordan has 29. Mm. Now watch Michael get to the line here. They're going to really get mad. <laughs> He got into the paint. Gets <laughs> Why did he put number three back off like that? Michael get to the line here. They're going to really get mad. <laughs> oh, he flopped. He either flopped he or he's just mad weak. But that was a hard he shot. That was a hard ass shot by MJ. Boy, Larry Nance shooting a lot of jump shots. This will be good. <laughs> he can literally jump from uh, so far, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Here's Michael out running everybody with the basketball. You see his speed. It's ridiculous. Elo. This is a two-point attempt. Elo continues struggling from that the could have been a foul. <laughs> it's tied for 14 now. Jordan Pull up. With nine rebounds and 35 points. And by the way, Paxson has Donut. Zero his core points. is so amazing. Like, it really is, bro. Jordan. On the pass and the bounce. Jordan was cutting to his left. Cleveland battling for that eighth and final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Jordan penetrating. Splits three Good guys. Pass. Gives it to Horace Grant for the he could have still laid that up, too. To the hoop. Goes to the left hand. Nice move. Bad shot. Now here's Jordan against Williams. Williams mm. fouls Michael hard. 
But good foul. Good foul. The franchise. They're going to call a move by John Williams. But they're going to call a breakaway foul. And they're mm. yeah, nice move. Bad shot. Now here's Jordan. Again. Well, funny thing is, you have to foul Jordan hard. Williams. Like, ooh, that, that could have been dangerous. Williams fouls Michael ooh. hard, but catches Oof. the franchise. They're going to call a move by John Williams. But they're going to call a breakaway foul. And the reason you see him at the line, it's not a technical. He goes to, they, they put this rule in because the guy's being pushed in the back. And mm -hmm. But he wasn't really now. pushed, but I do get what they see. Right I, I do Michael get it. Jordan feels it and it's going to be awfully tough to slow him down right oh now. Oh my god, that snatch back was wild. Up defensively and Michael Jordan feels it and it's going to be One, two, snatch. <laughs> Nigga doing with the electric slot. <laughs> Bro, this is, look how many people are on him and look how many people are open. So MJ had this and he obviously has the space to shoot, but he has so many other options available as well too if he did want to. Obviously the mid-range is his that is his godsend ability, as well as his, obviously, athleticism and defense. But his mid-range is superb. So, you had Pippen coming down, and you also had, uh, I think it's Armstrong right there. And I guess there was someone at the top of the key as well, too, as I'm kind of guessing. So, he had three options available. That shows you Michael Jordan's gravity. Tough to slow him down right now. Immaculate. Oh, my. Michael Jordan has 41 points. Jordan hit the first of the two technicals. There's the Technical second. Jordan oh. now has 43 points in the game. It's Jordy against Grant taking it to the hoop. Misses the shot. Doesn't get a call. Crowd gets excited again. I say that Jordy could have been a foul. For five. Armstrong open from the baseline. Yo, Armstrong's shot is so nice too, bro. Crowds into this ball game. They're emotionally connected. Good pass. Grant was nice too, bro. But let me say this as well too. Um, it, like I said, it seems like number three is not a good defender, or Michael Jordan's obviously just that good. Rolls by nine, three twenty-five. Because he's he's attacking him consistently. Even even when he's not on him, he's getting screens to find number three. Oh damn! Called it. That's what they've done. See? Price went for the steal. Jordan burned down. You can't gamble. Well, see, Michael uh, recognizes uh, Price on him in the post, so he just backs him down. Mark Price tries to circle to get the steal. Scotty Pippen with a nice pass. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jump shot. That mechanics. Is like a dunk. Against Hot Rod Williams. Pull up. You're not going to reach it. <laughs> 49. Oh, man. <laughs> he is a technician. Like I said, him and, him and DeMar, obviously, they're very similar when it comes to the mid-range jump shot but Jordan obviously is far superior let's let's make that clear if people don't understand that he jumps so high and he has so much of he doesn't fade too much he jumps straight up it's really ridiculous it's really ridiculous oh man it's beautiful to watch yeah that it does make oh, me wonder. Exactly like a team. Jordan Ooh. will go to the free throw line. Could have got that. Talking about lunch today. That headline, what, it makes me always positive. wonder, like, him Kilo playing to in today's age. To uh -huh. Charles Davis you know, said, makes me always wonder. You get more playing time. That's my rebound. <laughs> give, me, give me one stat. Paxson from the perimeter. It's a yeah, Paxson had a beautiful shot, like too. Four on the shot clock. Paxson's got trouble. They get it to Jordan. He goes for the three. He, he got fouled on that. Four on the shot clock. Paxson's got trouble. They get it. See, that would have been a foul in today's game. But MJ, I mean, I don't think it was that big to mess up the, the shooting motion. But that would have been a foul in today's game, obviously. Those little ticky-tacky fouls. Jordan, he goes for the three. He gets the three. Oh, my. Michael Jordan has 54 points. Now out of the school. Winston <laughs> Bennett just all over Jordan. There's Jordan. He got away from him from 17. Jordan has He's moving out the ball very well, man. I'm telling you, they don't talk about that enough. Oh, they were coming back. Chicago by four. It's playoff intensity here in this game. Jordan has 58. Keep Michael Jordan going. Here's Brad Doherty. That's also bad defense, here. too. Why would you come that way? Here. That was Winston dumb. Bennett doesn't have a chance. Jordan looking for his 59th and 60th points. He's got him. 60 points for Jordan. 
Time remaining in the game on the lower right of your screen. John Williams draws a triple team. Jordan with the steal nearly. Elo, bad shot. Bad shot. Jordan with the rebound, and the foul is on. It's on Elo. Comes out of the flow. And aggressively hit his ass. God damn. But there's still plenty of time to foul. It's a, a horrible time. time remaining in the game. 15 seconds. Price kicks to Elo. He goes for three. And hits it. That's the first shot they actually showed them making. Wow. I wouldn't have done that. I just wondered what you right, thought. Right. I would, of course, never call it. All right. Damn, they were down. That's the crazy. Well, they're going to the double game. up Michael Jordan here. It's tied. Jordan's going for three. He does not get it. We're in overtime at Richfield Coliseum. See, that was when, that was when, that's when the selfish, the selfishness, because that was very selfish. He should have, because he was doing very well without getting the ball. I mean, moving it without the ball. He should have passed it and got another play to get him off, like a, let's say, off the baseline screen so he could get off and get a nice mid-range again. I don't know how much they were down by. I don't know, but I feel like he could have got a way better, way easier shot than that, you know? Michael Jordan has been absolutely sensational. The other guys have gotten out of the rhythm of the offense. Michael Jordan in the fourth quarter scored all but so Mike's the only one. Points, and as a result, He's the only one. The rest of the guys then weren't into the flow. Michael has been sensational. Got to come double team him right now. It's one of those games where the team can't help you at all. But you see what I'm saying, though? Like, he's been hitting middies the whole time. Why in the world would you settle for a three? Like, I don't understand that. You could have gotten the ball back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. 63. Matthew That's me personally, obviously, but. Three minutes to go in the overtime. Richfield. Williams nowhere to go. Jordan's Good steal. Away. Good steal. Minute 52 to go. Chicago leading it by one. Jordan Ooh. doesn't get the opportunity to score his two from the field, but Jordan at the free throw line just may set his all time career high scoring record. The Williams are at the front line now. Michael Jordan just set his career scoring record of 64 points. Is that every time Michael puts it on the floor and is fouled, he's stepping up and two to, shooting two free throws. One point Chicago lead. B.J. Armstrong looking for Jordan. There he is. Winston Bennett guarding him now. Jordan pulls up from 13. He'll go to the line again. I think he's still, he still he still get that up. It's crazy. That's 66 points for Jordan. Eighth and final playoff spot of the Eastern Conference. Interesting. One minute and 16, sex, uh, 16 in seconds left. Chucky Brown for this rebound. Yeah, another. Yes. Grant misses. Rebound. Jordan past Chucky Brown. You heard Doug Collins call it. Unbelievable. He stole the rebound from Chucky Brown. And the... See, Chucky Brown did not get, you know, Michael Jordan locked him up underneath the basket and pushed him. And, you know, you've got to be very, you know, you could just... Back in the day, you, 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 know, you get away, you get away with a lot more. See, like, I don't mind that at all. He's going to probably end up one short at the 70 mark, but this will tie him with Pete Maravich. Like, I'm not a fan of all the ticky-tack fouls nowadays. I'm not a fan. But at the same time, a lot of those dudes, they, they get away with a lot. They get away with ticky-tacks, and they start really fouling, and they get away with it. Been unbelievable. 69 points for Michael Jordan. Oh, but they can throw it into Michael and foul him and then get 70. And Hibbert they won the game. Hold on to it. It's been a beauty at Richfield Coliseum. A tough loss for Cleveland. The Bulls get a four-point overtime victory. Michael Jordan with 69 points. So the Cavs obviously from what I'm getting, the Cavs were actually good. At, uh, like back in the day or if I remember correctly they were good back in the day this is a very good video by MJ23 his airness forever great video get that like my brother or my sister we don't discriminate <laughs> but in all seriousness though this was this is very good this is this was very educational to watch as a basketball player myself because it shows that because I didn't know Michael Jordan moved without the ball to a degree I didn't know that and he does he, he did very well to get that mid-range shot and um i feel like if he does that if he if he has always done that let me know i'm not too sure but if he's always been doing that he needs to get a lot more love off of that too because he's not a three-point shooter and i feel like those from the mid-range don't really get a lot of love when it comes to that regard moving without the ball and getting open for mid-range I think is very smart, especially if you're someone who's very accurate from mid-range as well, too. And Michael Jordan, obviously, very accurate from mid-range. Um, his post moves, 
phenomenal footwork phenomenal his core base phenomenal shooting point for you know it's all phenomenal so it's very educational to watch and i think for those who want to get into shooting i feel like you should watch michael jordan i think for those who want to learn some just the base mechanics i think he has the best mechanics in his shooting motion uh from the bending of his knees to the rising into the release to the release of his shot i believe he has a very very good very very uh perfect understanding of how to shoot but then later on there there's obviously the uh different shooting motions like the south paul of james harden the shooting on the way up of stephen curry the damian lillers the d'angelo russells all kind of shots like that but you have to learn from the basics basics first which i think michael jordan has a perfect blueprint of that so that's my recommendation for those who are trying to get into basketball or those who don't know how to really shoot and want to just, just just learn some mechanics i think michael jordan's shot is definitely the one you should uh try to follow after you know but it's your boy man shout out to taco falls son appreciate you to my young og man again follow me on instagram guys so you can talk to me and give me recommendations or just what you guys think you know let me know what you guys think and feel if you have any things going on in your life i'll talk talk with y'all man let me know what's up baby you all all part of the banks family man love and appreciate y'all forever man it's your boy melly I'm signing out and per usual peace love you keep the drip immaculate at all times baby Stay easy, breezy, beautiful, sexy, amazing, awesome, elegant, healthy. Most importantly, drink water, my friends. On the road to 1,000 subs, we passed 600, 700. You know how it goes if you do math. You know how that shit goes. I'm out of here, man. Peace and love. Bow. I'm out. Yee.